so i'm connecting to sql server now so in this example we are going to display data from this uh, pubs database so in the pubs database uh, we are picking authors table then from this authors table we are going to display authors last name city and uh, state so we are going to display these column three columns uh, in a data grid control all right first uh, let me write that uh, query so here if you see we wrote a function called uh, load data here in the load data we are first forming a, a school uh, string well, because this is the data we are going to retrieve so it always uh, it's always a good practice to check the query in the data source to make sure it uh, retrieves data without any error so there are two advantage one you can check the syntax and everything is correct another thing you can have a look at the data and make sure that uh, you are getting uh, uh, the expected data so here i can make sure that uh, i need author's last name city and state so i'm getting those data and there are uh, almost uh, 23 rows that uh, exist in this uh, table here so that's the first statement i'm forming a, a school string what is the data that I need to retrieve from the SQL Server database? Next, what I'm doing, I'm creating a author stable adapter. That means I'm creating a SQL data adapter. For this SQL data adapter, I'm passing two things. One is the query. This is the data I want to retrieve, and the database connection information. That means from where I want to retrieve this information that means this query that where I want to execute so I want to execute in the connection string which is specified in the application property settings so if I go here properties if you see in the settings tab I created a connection string this is the type uh, chosen then a uh, connection string is created so you can also form a connection string like this so once you specify a name for your connection string you can choose type as connection string then uh, in this red squiggly if you click here you will get a dialog then you can specify the information so data source uh, by default it's a SQL server you can leave it here since database is running on the local PC I'm giving it as uh, local then I'm giving username and password after that I am choosing the pubs database because the author's table lies in this uh, database right so I have chosen pubs database after that you can click uh, test connection to make sure the connection string works properly that's all now connection string is ready and that's what called the con pubs now con pubs can tell how to connect to this uh, pubs database which is uh, part of the SQL server running on this machine itself so based on these two information yeah SQL data adapter is uh, constructed after that if you look at these two piece of information uh, um, we can execute this query on this database and the result is returned in the form of rows and columns so where do we hold those information right to hold that information we created a object called a data table so this data table is capable of holding the rows and columns of data which is exactly the representation maintained by this 
uh, SQL data adapter. So once the uh, data table object is created, we are making call to the fill method of SQL data adapter. So for this fill method, we are passing the data table. So now what this fill method will do, it just executes this query on this connection and a data is returned and that returned data is populated on this data table. That's all. Once the function call finishes, you will have the author's data table with data got filled by this data adapter. Next, um, we no need to iterate through all the rows of data in the data table. We can simply set a property in the display control. So if I go to the form, this is the display control we are using. The display control name is uh, data grid control. So in the data grid control, <coughs> We are setting its data source property. So this data source says, uh, I am a display control uh, from where I should get the data for the presentation purpose. That means uh, once the data source is set with the uh, uh, source of the data, then that data is utilized by this uh, data grid control to display that uh, in the form in which it is placed right now here we are uh, sending the authors table and setting that to the data source control that's all once this is done the data returned by this query through data adapter is filled to the authors table and from this authors table uh, rows and column representation is presented by the grid control by setting it to the data source uh, property. Okay, let me execute this. So here it is succeeded. You see, we are seeing the similar data, right? For example, a green Auckland, which is the second data. So here in the query also, we are seeing green Auckland, CA. Okay, that's all from this example. So in the com coming articles, um, we can see how we can do the update based on this data adapter control. There are a lot more to come, data adapter, data table, data sets. Uh, so keep watching. Uh, I'm closing it for now.